with another, another type of headache called cluster headache, which is more common in men than women. These patients have absolutely horrible pain to the point where it's also called a suicide headache. The headache lasts 45 minutes to three hours max, whereas migraine goes four hours to 72, typically. But the cluster headache patients, even though it's a vascular headache, it starts from a different part of the brain, the hypothalamus, not the trigeminal nucleus caudalis, which is the migraine generator. Okay, And these folk can't lie down. They walk. They, they cannot be comfortable anywhere. They will literally <clears throat> hit their heads against the wall to try to create pain that will have them shift their awareness of the pain away from the terrible pain of the cluster headache, which is described by, I'd say, nine out of every 10 cluster patient I've ever seen as, quote, there's somebody inside my skull trying to push my eye out with a hot poker, end quote. And I say that, and what's fascinating to me is people that, to my knowledge, have never met themselves, met each other, have the same explanation, almost word for word with what I just said. So there's different types of headaches that have different ways of presenting but the only commonality between tension type headache and migraine is central sensitization after a while. And one last comment uh, is that in migraine patients when they develop central sensitization, we now know that, uh, that they can also develop allodynia. Allodynia is severe pain from non-painful stimulation. And what's so fascinating in the migraine patient is migraine is a brain disease, okay? And you might have pain and that's why it hurts to comb your hair when you have a migraine. That's the allodynia. But some people have what's called extracephalgic allodynia or pain in their back or their hands. So even though this is uh, a brain disorder that's associated with a headache, they will get pain in their hands. And last comment is there's a percentage of patients, anywhere from 7 to 30 percent of patients of, with migraine that do not respond to a tryptan, which is like a bullet. It hits the 5-HT, the serotonergic uh, 1, B, D, and F subreceptors. And once a patient develops allodynia, a tryptan will not work. And we weren't cognizant of that relationship until the last couple of years. Yes, there is. Um, you, you'd use a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory first, wait an hour, and then in not all, but a good percent of the patients, a tryptan can be used and be successful to stop the headache or at least bring down the pain level significantly. Um, that's pretty new information, new being the last five years. And what's so fascinating about migraine, migraine was written about for hundreds of years, and we're still learning even basic facts. I mean, we all knew that during a migraine, uh, it hurt to run your hand through your hair or to comb your hair. But now we know that it's truly allodynia, which can only come from central sensitization.